Sober! Away! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi yo silver! The Lone Ranger! In the early days of the western United States, when the Lone Ranger led the fight for law and order on the frontier, he did more than drive criminals from the country. His fight was for justice, and time after time he matched wits with confidence men who worked within the law. His resourcefulness was equal to his strength and courage, and time after time he protected the savings and property of honest men and women. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young, from out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Garrett has been jailed, but there's still work to be done. I owe Silver away! The sheriff led Mustang Mag and her foreman... Old Missouri, to the cell occupied by Garrick, an elderly rancher. And well, here he is, Mag. You can talk to him if you want to. Don't hope for much from it. Thanks, Sheriff. If you need me for anything, just yell. Sure. What are you two doing here? Can't you leave me alone? Listen here, you. Shut that big mouth of yours and leave this to me, Missouri. I'm real diplomatic. You ain't. Dip it. Dip it. What's that you said? Ah, an old ignoramus like you wouldn't savvy if it was told to him. Garrick. Well? Now, uh, let you and me act friendly like, huh? Me friends with you? After what you've done to me? Me act like friends when I'm facing trial on account of you? Why, now, you... Now, now, we could just let bygones be bygones. What do you want? Well, um, that option that's coming up, the one I'm holding on that government grazing land that you didn't want me to take up, I... Now, what about I... it? Well, you wanted that grazing land for yourself. Sure I did. Seeing as how I ain't got no real use for it, even though I got twice the cattle you got. I've been sort of wondering just why you want to lease all that range. So now that I can't lease it, you figure I'll tell you, huh? Well, <laughs> after all, you're going to hang, you know. <laughs> I thought just as a favor to me... I, I... all the eternal. I'm going to hang. It's your fault I'm going to hang. It was you done the kidnapping. And now you got the infernal gumption to say I should just sort of overlook it and do you a favor. Yo, Frump, I wouldn't do you a favor to keep from hanging. I'd hang twice over if it had cost you. Now, I'd Derek, hang... no, no. And if something comes up to set me free, I'd do things to you and that lop-eared idiot beside you <gasps> that'd make you hang me a next time for sure. Now clear out. Just looking at the two years worse than a year in jail. Hey, now, and I don't have to stand for it. Sheriff! Sheriff, come here, dog, blast you, and throw these scarecrow nightmares out of here. Sheriff, hey, Sheriff. I tried to be diplomatic. <laughs> I tried to be a lady, old friendly. <laughs> you ain't used to it, Mag. 
You just ain't used to it. But now, you crooked varmint, I'll get you. I'll... Hey, hey, what's going on here? Unlock this here door and let me out here. Stop it, I'll man. save the county the expense of... You hell. hear me? Stop it. Get her out of here. I demand my rights. Skin her out. Come on, Meg. You get any matter and you'll lose your temper. And what satisfaction do you expect to get out of that? If Garrick won't tell us what we want to know, we'll just have to find it out some other way. Missouri's right, Meg. You better run along. All right. I'll go. But you listen to me, Garrick. Get out! I'll find out what's valuable about that grazing land, Spider. You are high water, and don't think I won't. At the same time, two horsemen sat astride their mounts in the midst of a great expanse of rich rolling prairie and... There's no clue to the answer here, Tonto. Hmm. See those hills in the distance? Yeah, well, me see them. From those hills all the way to Rainbow Valley is government land. This is a grazing land leased by Mustang Mag. Last year, when she leased it from the government, she hoped the natural increase of her herd would justify the cost of the lease. It didn't. Under ordinary circumstances, she wouldn't exercise her option to lease this land again. Uh But as long as Garrick was willing to go to such lengths to get the lease for himself, when he had even less use for it, it must possess some value we can't see. Maybe gold here. Mustang Mag would have no right to it, even if there were. The lease only allows grazing privileges. Oh. It wouldn't worry me if only she had more time. She has only until the first of the month to make up her mind. Not right. If she passes the option, she may be overlooking a chance to make good money. Otherwise, why would Garrick have wanted it? Uh, me not know. On the other hand, it'll cost her money to take up the option. Money she can't afford to spend without any return on it. Mm, what you do? I won't give up, Kimasabe. Mustang Mag deserves all the good fortune she can get. If we can help her, we will. Uh, Come on, Tata. Back to camp. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Come on. <laughs> For the remainder of the day, the Lone Ranger considered the problem. As each hour passed, he knew that the narrowing margin of time made the solution more urgent and at the same time more difficult. Dusk arrived, and then night. The masked man looked into the bright blaze of the campfire Tonto had built as though seeking an answer. Finally, Tonto. Oh, what? What matter? I believe I have it. Why, fellow, want land? No, not that, Kimasabe. No? But a way to find out. Well, how you do that? Garrick hates Mustang Mag. He blames her for the fix he's in. Although it's his own greed that's put him where he is. Not right. Because he hates her, he won't tell why he wanted to lease that land. Even though now it can't be of any use to him. Uh-huh. But hate is a dangerous weapon, Kimasabe. Uh-huh. Perhaps, perhaps that hate will help us. Here, Silver. You ride? Get me my saddle. Tonto, get him. I've got a theory, Tonto. I'm going to see if it'll work. Here. Here's title. Thanks. Steady, Silver. Steady. <laughs> you know what the saddle means, don't you, old fella? Silver, old boy, we're riding. <laughs> It was an hour later that the masked man, after leaving Silver in the shadows behind the jail, approached the sheriff's office without being observed. A glance through a window revealed the sheriff was alone, and the masked man climbed the steps to the front door. Sheriff. What the? Oh, it's you, stranger. Gosh, for a second, I seen that mask. You gave me a start. I'm here to ask a favor. A favor? Well, I reckon after the way you helped us catch Garrick, you ain't much afraid I'll turn you down, are you? <laughs> I want to speak to Garrick. Tonight? It's not too late, is it? Well, I ain't supposed to allow no visitors this time of night. Well, that's but... why I referred to it as a favor, Sheriff. Oh, sure. <laughs> sure. It won't do no harm anyhow, I reckon. Come along. Uh, one moment. Yeah? Before we go back there, I want it understood that I'm speaking to Garrick alone. Alone? Right. Uh... Well, you ain't got no notion of breaking him out or anything like that, have you? I haven't. <laughs> then I figure it can be arranged. Uh, just follow this way. Uh, what's up? Anything special? I want to speak to Garrick alone. But before I leave, 
I promise you'll know what we spoke about. Well, that's fair enough. There's your cell there, the second one. Go on ahead. Thanks. I'll be seeing you before you leave. Gary. Who are you? You. I see you remember me. Blast it all. First it's Mag in Missouri, and now it's you. Ain't a fellow no right to any privacy at all? Sheriff, you come Hold here. It. I'm not going to have you. you've heard what I have to say. Then call the sheriff if you wish. Won't be necessary, however. If you're not interested, I'll leave. What you got to say to me? I've an idea. You and I can do business together. Huh. You've been trying to get the government land Mag is leased. You wanted her to decide against taking up her option so that you could lease the land instead. How much would it be worth to you if I arranged for Mustang Mag not to use her option? What are you up to? I asked you a question. You're up to something. In the first place, even if you wasn't, you and me couldn't make no deal. That land's as good as gone as far as I'm concerned. I'm sitting in jail and there's nothing I can do about it. Suppose I guarantee that the sheriff will release you under guard for a period long enough to sign a lease with a land agent. And what good will the land do me when I'm going on trial? You're not convicted yet. I'm just as good as, thanks to you and Mag. The testimony against you will be given by known outlaws. And don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying you won't be convicted. I'm saying only that your conviction isn't as certain under the circumstances as it would be if the testimony were to be given by men with good reputations. Mm, just where are you getting at? This. From your point of view, it should be worth the chance. If you're released or get a short sentence, then you'll have that land for whatever purpose you had in mind. And what if Mag gets stubborn and takes up her option just to spike me? She trusts me. <laughs> you can depend upon it. You'll have the first chance at that land. Selling Mag out, huh? Perhaps. I thought you and her were such great friends. That doesn't enter into this. Uh-huh. And if I agree, what do you figure to gain by it? If you get the lease, you pay me $500. It must be worth far more than that to you, or you wouldn't have run the risk you have. And if I don't get it? You pay me nothing. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> Just laughing that you're taking me for a fool, stranger, that's all. For a fool? You think I don't see through your scheme? You think I don't savvy what you're up to? Well, young fella, I ain't no such idiot. And what's my scheme? To get me to tell why I want that land so she can run back and tell Mag. Well, I'll be doggone it. Don't you Listen think to you me. can... You tell me nothing until the lease is signed and in your hands. Uh, what's that? You heard me. You tell me nothing until it suits your purpose. You, you mean that? I do. Well, by thunder, you're as low as they come. Compared to you, a sidewinder'd make a real good friend. You... Tell out the folks that trust you for a measly $500. Your opinion doesn't matter to me. <laughs> and it don't matter to me when there's cash to be made. What's your answer? You don't ask me nothing. You get me out of jail long enough to sign that lease. You guarantee Mag lets me. And you don't ask for no cash till a deal goes through. Is that it? Are them the terms the way you want them? Right. Uh, then it's a bargain. Good. Sheriff... Me? Come here, Sheriff. Garrick and I have come to an agreement. I want you as a witness to its terms. The sheriff lost no time in spreading the news of the Lone Ranger's treachery throughout the town. And there he stood as bold as you please, making a deal with that skunk in jail and never even looking ashamed. Wait till Mustang Maggie hears about this. She'll be fit to be tied. Missouri will be worse than her. And him all the time pretending to be her friend. He better not show his face around here. Well, folks, just goes to show you, you can't trust nobody. And if you do, you deserve what you get. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The news that the Lone Ranger had made a deal with Garrick spread through town and countryside until... Well, well, blast you, whoa! Meg! Where are you, Meg? Meg! Oh, girl, don't slam the door. Don't come tramping mud all over my clean floors. The place is with the floors. Just wait till you listen to what I heard in town. Well, I'll spit it out. You won't believe it. Likely I won't. But get it off your chest anyhow. The masked man's thrown in with Garrett. Huh? He's promised to get that government land for you. You're right. Yeah. I don't believe you. I told you you wouldn't. But it's so and I can prove it. Yeah? By the sheriff. He was right there and witnessed the deal. I still don't believe it. When even the sheriff can testify to well, it? Well, Why, you stubborn You want to know woman? something, Missouri? Huh? What? I wouldn't believe it if the masked fella was to stand right here in front of me and say the same thing yourself. Oh, you wouldn't, wouldn't you? Yeah? You deaf? Didn't hear me the first time? Then here's your chance to ask him. He's coming in right now. I just heard him stop outside. Come in. Howdy, friend. Hello, Meg. Hello there, Missouri. Ask him. Ask him right in front of me. I wouldn't do no such thing. Be the same as an insult. When somebody's my friend, I don't credit the first loose talk I hear about him. You don't dare. I'll tell you, I... Oh, just some foolishness Missouri picked up in town. Don't you pay no attention to it. Missouri's kind of childish at times. Huh. Just to believe in everything he shouldn't. I believe I know what you mean. Ah, uh, we won't even talk about it. Ain't worth discussing. Missouri has told you that I made a bargain with Garrick. Don't hold it again, him. He ain't just right in the head. Now you look here, Mag. One more word out of you and I'll lambaste you till you can't stand up for falling down. I'll Mag, just... you're not being fair to Missouri. Huh? He told you the truth. Nah! You mean that? I do. Friend, you know what I told Missouri just before you come in? When he said he got his information straight from the sheriff himself? I could probably guess. I said if you stood right there and told me the same thing, I still wouldn't believe it. And I don't. I'm all the And you keep still. Meg, I knew I could depend upon you. I knew that whatever I did, you'd realize that I couldn't break your trust. Of course you couldn't. I, I don't savvy. Missouri, you won't for a while. Meg. Yeah? You told me you have until noon on the first of the month to renew your lease. Is that correct? Yes, so. The first is the day after tomorrow. Uh-huh. I want your promise. I gave Garrick my word he'd be released from jail under guard and given an opportunity to sign a lease. He can't, however, if you exercise your option. What do you want me to do? Let Garrick sign the lease and trust to me that you won't suffer for it. You really want me to do that? Yes. Then I will. Friend, you've helped me out a dozen times. Well, even this ranch of mine old to you. I ain't even thinking for one second that you're scheming anything to harm me. I'm not. But if you were, you could. And I'd never complain. You'd have to do a heap of harm to make up for all the good you've done. And if so be it you did, I'd still figure it was me old you. <laughs> That night, the Lone Ranger again rode to town, but this time he was accompanied by his faithful Indian companion, Tonto. The hour was late, and the streets of the town were deserted. The sheriff will be home at this time of night, Tonto. Uh-huh. You're not to go in with me. I may have trouble with him. He's a good friend of Mag's. And he's certain that I've thrown in with Garrick. And um, what me do? Remain outside on guard. You see that you're needed? Step in. Uh, me do that. There's his place. He got light. Which means he's still awake. Pull over to the side here, Kimasabe. This way, Silver. Come on, Tonner. This will do. Oh, Scott. Oh, oh, oh Silver. Oh. I won't be long. Oh, me wait. Come in. And close the door. Then hike your hand. What's the gun for, Sheriff? I heard you stopping and seen you from the window. That's the reason for this here gun. Now, get your hands up like I said. Get them up. I think not. Hey. I'll keep this. Blast It'll you. be safer in my hands. I'll fix now, it. sit down. Who do you think you are? What right you got to tell me what to do? You sit down. Yeah. Now then, you'll stay there and listen to what I have to say. Agree with me or not, as you choose. But I don't want one sound out of you until I've finished. All 
right, Tonto. One more errand and we finish for the night. What sheriff say? He didn't want to talk to me at first, Kimasabi. When he heard what I had in mind, he forgot that he'd been angry. <laughs> now where we go, huh? To the office of Clay Coleman. Ooh, him. The land agent, Kimasabi. He's the fellow who leases that grazing land for the government. Him not in office now. I know, Tonto. That's why we're going there. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Oh, Silver! Away! Late in the morning on the following day, the last morning on which Mustang Mag could exercise the option, the sheriff and two heavily armed deputies approached Garrick's cell. All right, Garrick. Get ready to come with us. Yeah, what's the fire? Well, didn't you want to make a call at the land agent's office? You, you mean the masked man's keeping his promise? You're going to let me lease that grazing land of Mustang Mag Doom? You want to, or don't you? Of course I do. Then I don't see no harm in it. Man's got the right to do business even if he is going on trial. If you hang after, that's your hard luck. I don't mean to say they ain't to be allowed to do nothing before then. Keep your eye on him, boys. If he makes a break for it, don't argue. Shoot. Sure. We'll be watching him every second. All right. Step out here. Uh, Sheriff. Well? Have, the, have you heard whether or not the masked man kept the rest of his word? Did he get Mustang Mag to agree not to take up that option? I don't know a thing about that. You won't have long to wait before you find out, though, I reckon. Hold out your hand. Huh? I'm handcuffing you. Oh. If you have to sign your name to anything, I'll take them off you again. Now get going. The land agent's office was empty when they arrived. The hands of the grandfather clock standing against one wall were close to the hour of 12. Garrick watched them closely. Almost 12. And here comes Coleman now. About time he was getting here. Oh, good morning. Hello there. Well, it's you, eh, Garrick? Mm -hmm. Sheriff, I don't understand what he's doing yeah, It's here. all right. Garrick figured he got business with you. I couldn't see no reason why I couldn't get it over with as long as he was guarded. Business with me? What business, Garrick? I reckon you don't need to be told. I'm afraid I don't know of anything unless it's the lease on that grazing land. You spoke of that. But, of course, until Mustang Mag decides what she'll She's do... She's only I got can... the 12 o'clock, ain't she? Yes. <laughs> then look at the time. Just take a look. Why, why, it's later than I thought. Just the second that there clock says it's noon, you got to give me the chance to lease that land. I don't know just what to say. Don't he, Sheriff? Now, don't he? I don't see why not. But I can't it take it... It don't matter to you, does it, Coleman? Who gets that lease? Just so the government gets the rent for it? No, of course not. But just the same... Then I, I reckon there ain't no more to be said about it, one way or the other. Mag's got till noon to take the option she holds. When it's past 12, it'll be too late. Then Garrick here will have as much a right as anybody else to lease the land. I know my rights. He's got to lease it. I... I don't understand why Mag hasn't come into town. She never intended to, that's why. And if she did and she's too late, that's just her hard luck. Well, uh... There, it's noon. <laughs> the masked man kept his word doggone if he didn't. Coleman, you get out them papers while I make out a check and we'll settle this right now. There. That should settle everything. You made the necessary payment, Garrick. Sheriff and Frosty have signed his witnesses and... Now, uh, and... tell me, the grazing rights are mine. Does this do it? Mustang Mag can't get them back now, can she? I don't see how. <laughs> I've done it. I got the best of her. Just wait till she finds out the cash she's missed. It'll be worse than in trial just to see the look on her face. The look on whom's face? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at the clock. It's past noon. Didn't I tell you we was going to be late? Didn't I tell you not to fool around so long before getting started? Hey, you ain't leased that land to this honorary polecat, have you? Well, have you? Mag, it couldn't be helped. I had no right to wait any longer. Then Garrett got what he was after all the time. That lease. Thanks to that fella there. What? Master. Master. You double crosser, well, you, right, you. Well, Garrick, are you satisfied that I kept my share of our bargain? <laughs> sure you did. You'll get what I promised, too. I'll pay you the 500. You know why? <laughs> Cause for every dollar I pay you, I'll be making a hundred. You hear that, Mag? You hear it? <laughs> I hear you. You didn't know there'd been a drought over Colorado, eh, did you? 
you didn't know that right this minute half the cattle man in Colorado have got their herds on the trail heading this way, and they're looking for land at least to save their critters from dying. <laughs> they're coming here with the thousands and thousands. They'll be glad to pay me anything I ask. They'll give me twice what I'm paying. <laughs> twice? Well, uh, they'll pay me five times over and be glad of the chance. <laughs> and you could have got that cash, Mag. You could have sure got it. You're sure of what you're saying, Gary? <laughs> Ain't I knowed it for more than a week? Ain't I? <laughs> this will teach you to cross me, Mag. I don't care if I do have to go back to jail. Anyhow, I got the satisfaction That's of being here. Gary. You've told me exactly what I want to know. Huh? Mag, take up your option before it expires. When those herds reach here, you can rent that land as Gary planned to do. Hey, oh, hey, she can't. It's too late. Right here's my lease of that land, all signed and witness. I'll tell you, Mag I got had that until land. noon today. But it's past noon, dog blasted. So Coleman's clock says, after I left the sheriff last night, I came to this office and set the clock an hour ahead. But what? Hey. If you doubt my words, step outside. At noon, the sun is directly overhead. You'll find, however, that if you stand where the sun strikes you... Your figure will still cast a shadow toward the west. No, it can't be. If you still doubt the truth of what I say, check with the other clocks in town. You'll soon see I'm telling you the truth. Well, that's bad right. It ain't noon yet. Then May can take up that option. Of course she can. I've been tricked. It ain't right. You Eric, wait now. You've been tricked to plenty. When I witnessed that bargain between you and the masked man, I thought he was double-crossing Mag here. But I found out later all he was after was to get you to talk. And after all the crooked tricks you pulled, Garrick... You got just what you had coming. He's just done himself out of $500. <laughs> Which same he never wanted in the first place. Uh, oh, golly. You heard all this, Missouri? You heard it, did you? I, I heard it, Mag. Then let her teach you a lesson. And the next time you get the notion in that fool head of yours that the masked man's gone back on his friends, you think back to this. And thank heavens the whole world ain't made up of idiots like you. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.